Ron from Play Golf and Tennis and today I'm with Brian and we're trying to fix his driver problem and as you can see he's applying too much muscle and too much thought which is the killer of any golf swing. He's also too vertical at the top of his back swing and with the driver you have to be more around your body think more wide load outside track like NASCAR. So I'm going to move Brian back and put the ball more up in his stance also have him loosen up his grip pressure a lot at address okay and your tempo here is just one two three the only thought is one two three one two three it's not anything else and now we're going to go back to the top not be as vertical be more laid off let that hip clear first drop it like it's hot and whip it to your left shoulder there should be a recoil it should bounce off your left shoulder then i know you're finishing your golf swing so it's going to be one two three hip will whip it get to your finish stand tall and stare your target down if you finish right and whip it let it go that ball should go relatively straight hi this is Ron from play golf and tennis and I'm with one of my students Brian and we're trying to uh, fix a typical problem that most amateurs have with longer clubs they slice it or they pull hook it or you know it's just their timing is not right and you have to synchronize it they also have a more vertical swing plane as if they were hitting a wedge so what you want to do on a longer club is stay on the outside track get around your body more on the downswing, the hip has to clear first, and then you whip it and get it all the way over to your left side, finish it, and the ball's going to go a little bit straighter. Hi, this is Ron from Play Golf and Tennis, and today I'm with Brian, one of my students, and we're trying to work on his short game. And like most you know, amateurs, Brian's been playing for a while, but they tend to hit this ball over the green, um, left or right, or, or short. So what I want to do is get Brian to lean more toward the target, um, have a one-two tempo, and drop it behind the ball and strike the match more. Now the ball is going to pop up for more backspin. We're going to get on that green now. We're going to look a little better in doing it. So now we're going to move on to a pitch shot. This is a 1-2 back and a 1-2 through tempo. Right shoulder, left shoulder. By suppressing the length of the backswing, I control the distance of the ball flight. And that was a good shot, but that ball, he hit behind that ball. It was back. His next shot was actually a slice. So what I'm trying to get him to do now is get around his body more, clear his hip first, and drop it. And if he moves his divot up, now the ball's going to go a lot higher and land a lot softer. One, two, one, two.